Hey there, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Kay, I'm a professional home organizer and soprano here in the Boston area, and I am here to inspire you to love your home as much as I love mine. So the bathroom is a place where we all spend time several times a day, and it's such a tight, cramped space sometimes that it can be really challenging to figure out organizing solutions that work in there that keep it clutter free and looking like a relaxing space. So today I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks I've learned over the years on how to keep your bathroom organized and zen-like. The first tip I have is to be real about what you're actually keeping in the bathroom. Back in the 2014, 2018 YouTube days, we were watching a lot of beauty influencers online. Even I was, I was, I know, especially I was, and we were getting fed video after video about this beauty product, this skincare product, this makeup product, and we overbought and overconsumed a lot of what I like to call lotions and potions. That is your lotions, your shower gels, your skincare, your makeup, all kinds of things. As a result, I know a lot of us had an overload of a lot of that stuff and we're struggling to really have a place to keep it. So I want to encourage you to actually pare down your collection because I know that in my life, I think variety is fun. I like a little variety. I like, oh, I'm gonna try this mask today and this mask tomorrow. I understand how fun it is to have a variety of things waiting for you in the bathroom, but I wanna encourage you to trade that excitement of variety for the excitement of quality. Maybe you had a really beautiful facial cleanser that's $30 that you really enjoyed, but you have 10 that you kind of so-so enjoyed. Maybe you got them in one of those beauty subscription boxes or you just saw it walking past in Sephora. Think of all the times you've had to repurchase or try something new because you didn't really want to rebuy the thing that you really liked that was a little higher priced. I encourage you to invest in skincare and body care that you really, really like and keep that down to minimum. That way you'll give a proper home to 10 products you really like uh, instead of trying to jam in 20 products that you maybe like, but maybe maybe you don't like, maybe they're mediocre, I don't know. By doing this, you might not need the space to store all those extras, and you might even use space in your shower to store the stuff that you currently love. We have this amazing tension shower caddy from Simple Human that we've had for almost 10 years. We've moved it into five different homes, and it's been perfect in every space to hold all of our scrubs, shower gels, shampoo, you name it. It was a bit of an investment, but I always recommend to spend a little bit more money one time than to spend a little bit of money multiple times when things fail, break, etc. There are a couple of ways that things can get lost and disorganized and they can they can either end up in the back of, of a cabinet or an area or they can end up on the bottom of something where you'll never find it. Most under sink cabinets and bathrooms are not optimized to store the sizes of items we typically need in the bathroom. Like we have a large container and then we have small things that we're putting in. So things are naturally going to get lost. One of my favorite ways to organize these cabinets is simply to divide it up so that you can see all of the items inside. And if you need to, you can use a turntable or turntable basket to allow access to items no matter where you place them since nothing ever officially ends up in the back. I've tried all kinds of bathroom cabinet organizers, but my favorite is still the alpha drawer unit from the container store. No, this is not sponsored, but I used to be a container store employee. And before I committed to a drawer unit solution for the bathroom, I purchased a much less expensive adjustable shelving unit, which worked okay, but felt a little flimsy and I could never really get it quite right. And then I made the investment into these drawer units and I never looked back. There are plenty of alternative freestanding drawers you can use under the bathroom sink to get the same effect, but these are my favorite since they are well made and will last a lifetime, and they can be reused in other spaces when your needs change or when you move. One of the main causes of a cluttered looking space is cluttering up the bathroom counter. They may be items that you use every day, but if they fill up the counter space, you can end up making your bathroom counter look really cluttered, even if the stuff that's out is not actually clutter. One of the ways you can do this is to add extra storage for items that wasn't there before. Hanging shelves is a great way to get items off of the counter and off of the floor. The shelves in our bathroom are used to hold tissues, extra toilet paper, which is also amazing because it's near the toilet. That's one of the best secrets I have. Well, it's not a secret, but one of the best tips I have. If, you're, if you have to do an extra toilet paper storage, make sure it's near the toilet. So if you run out on the roll, you can just lean over and grab an extra roll and you're not like forced to do anything 
interesting. We also have our night light just in case we need to get up in the middle of the night for a bathroom visit. We got this clear acrylic tissue holder so that we have a clean look to our tissues and every time we buy a box we know when we're about to run out. A pedestal sink is so beautiful and takes up a really small footprint on the floor but one of the main problems is that it doesn't provide any storage at all. A standalone pedestal sink cabinet is a great alternative for renters and those who aren't ready to take the step and install a brand new vanity quite yet. They vary in price, but they're fairly affordable and available in different styles and aesthetics to fit your personal design taste. While they don't offer a ton of storage, they do offer enough space to put a few odds and ends away so that they're not all over the floor. If you have a door on a hinge, you are lucky because you just found some extra storage space. In small bathrooms, it's important to use all the available vertical space and using the back of the door has helped me so many times when I was in a bind. One of my favorite solutions that I recommend to almost everyone is the Alpha Door and Wall Rack from the Container Store. Again, not sponsored, but I just love it. It's a little bit more of an investment than some other types of door solutions, but I truly believe that the Alpha Door and Wall Rack is so well made and so easy to install and uninstall that this solution is one I recommend to almost everyone and everyone loves it. You can choose between baskets, a board, some hooks, uh, and you can make your solution super customizable and right for your needs. It's secured to both the top and the bottom so it doesn't slide around on you. It's just a really great thing. Another thing I love a lot is simply an over the door towel rack. When I lived in what I like to refer to as my bachelorette pad, I miss it sometimes. I didn't have a towel rod in the bathroom or I did actually have a towel rod but it was in a really strange place where you wouldn't really put a towel so instead of installing one because I was living in a rental I just put this over the door towel rack on and it saved my life when the door closed I could reach it from the shower and when I moved out I just simply took it off the door and took it with me to my next space. It's so great. I also kept extra towels there for when I needed them so I didn't need to have an extra linen ca uh, cabinet for my towels. When I am organizing other clients' spaces, I don't always recommend that they buy products, but I almost always will recommend if you want to buy anything in your organizing, invest in drawer organizers and drawer dividers. It is always the one product that makes the space work better than before. And it's available in a bunch of different aesthetic and design choices. You can get real wood, you can use plastic, you can even use cardboard, you can use the backs of like iPhone boxes or whatever. But as long as you divide the space, it will make it so much more functional. Even if items are stored in a single layer in a drawer, they can become a little bit wild in the drawer as they will slide around, intermingle with one another, and it's actually it will be easier for your eye to identify what item is in what item category if the drawer is divided. When you look in the drawer, you will feel less stressed and less anxious as you will always be able to find the item you need. Now, always remember that the depth of drawers definitely matters a lot in terms of what you store inside. The more shallow the drawer, the smaller the items you wanna store, and the deeper the drawer, the larger the items you tend to wanna to store in there because if you store a bunch of small things in a large space, we discussed this earlier, things tend to get lost. I know the bathroom can be a really challenging space to organize and I hope that you found these tips helpful. Let me know down in the comment below what is the most challenging thing to organize in your bathroom. I'm just, I'm really curious. Let me know. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.